So, once you're in Canva, you are going to go right here and you're going to type in poster and you want to go to where it says poster landscape and then go to create a blank poster. These are templates. We do not want templates. We're going to go to photos. So over on the left hand side, you're going to click photos. And the first thing we're doing, of course, is finding a room. So I just generically typed in the word room. Uh, a lot of these are boring white rooms, um, but they do have some colored rooms. So as we discussed, rooms that are more high contrast, so like if you were going to do a lot of light colored objects, this would be a good room. Um, but we also have this like deep blue, a lot of blues and greens. So if you were going to do like red or pink or green objects, those would all be good choices. Um, if you wanted, I have, let's look. Would you like pink room? Oh, they do have pink room. So if you want a particular color, you could Google that. Um, we want to use something like this because this is not a room. This is a wall. But we could use any of these other things that, you know, actually look like rooms. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll go with this one since it's on top. So once you have the room you would like, you are going to make it full size. So in this case, you can see, oh, actually, probably, yeah, this one actually did fit perfectly. Um, there are, I'm actually going to go back to one of the boring rooms just because I know it works. Um, this is the room I used originally, and when I tried to make it full size, you can see it's, like the wall, or here, I'll do it down here you can see that there's just pink showing on the other one. So you keep expanding it and it's automatically gonna crop off the stuff on the side. So in this case, it cropped off more of the plants. If I wanted to crop the door, not the plants, I would just scooch it over. But um, I will go with this pink one just so we have something a little bit more interesting. So then you're gonna choose your object. So, um, I, earlier I had done stuffed animal. I'm just going to do stuffed animal again because that's easy. But I can choose different stuffed animals this time. So, as we know, green is opposite on the color wheel from pink or red. And so, there's a bunch of different green animals. So, it would be a good idea for me to choose one of these green animals or multiple green animals. So this is obviously huge, so to make it smaller, you just go from the arrow, and you want to make it about the size, still a little bit big, you want to make it about the size it would be. Um, these ones, if it has a black background over here, that means that they're, it's going to be clear. It's going to have a clear background when you put it on here. But if it's something like this, we can see that there is a colored background. Even if I cropped out almost all this background, and to crop, you're going to drag from the center. And then I shrunk it down the size. It still looks super weird because I can still see the wooden background in the back. So I'm just going to make this bigger so you can see real quick. Canva has this awesome feature. You go right here to edit image. And you want to click on this guy. It says BG remover or background remover. You click it and it takes a few seconds. But eventually the background will be gone, which makes it way better for collaging. Um, most of the time, that feature is really good. Every once in a while, it'll crop out something that you wanted to keep, but usually it actually does a really good job. So you see, now I have you know these stuffed animals and I don't have that weird background. Um, this one already has a lot of stuff in it. We have multiple uh, tables and a huge couch and this and stuff. But say for some reason I wanted another table, you could always look up other, you could add in other furniture. So if you choose a room that is very bare, it's a really good idea to add in more furniture so that you can end up putting things on top of it. So like I could sit my, uh, what's this thing called? Dragon on top of the table. However, right now you can see that my dragon is not on top of the table. It looks like it's weirdly floating behind the table. So, to fix that, I'm going to click my dragon. I'm going to click these three dots, and I'm going to click Bring Forward. 
Now the dragon is on top of the table and I see I need to raise it up a little bit. So you can always, and if for some reason I needed it in back, you could click send to back or send backward. Um, so you use those to layer objects the way you want to layer them. Um, oh, the last thing I haven't discussed is if you found a, if you want to, um, you could go on uh, Google Draw and you could draw your own objects if you want to. You could save it as a picture and then once you've saved it as that picture, you can then go ahead and upload it to this. So I'm just gonna find, <laughs> this is totally random, but I took a picture of what it looks like to have gift card receipts. So I have this random picture right now. So I, if I wanted to add my own photos, I would go open the photo tab and I can, well for me I can drag it right in. I actually don't know if you guys can drag, but if not, you could choose upload file and you could find the file on your computer. So mine is saved to my desktop, so I would go to desktop, I would find the picture I wanted, and now it's in here and I can actually put it directly into my Canva. So you have two options there. You can either draw on Google Draw and then put your own drawing into the picture, which is cool, or you could find a different picture on Google Images, again, save it to your computer, and then put it into Canva. So if you can't find what you want directly on Canva, that's totally fine. Instead, you can search on Google. Um, I have a different video that shows you how you're allowed to search on Google though, so I'm gonna play that for you. Um, it automatically saves, so if you accidentally X out, that's okay, Canva automatically saves things for you. Um, on your home page, you will see when you scroll down, your recent designs. <laughs> did it not actually save it? Oh, thank goodness. It did save it. It just hadn't popped up yet. Um, so again, you'll see your old designs. If you open something up and you're not going to use it anymore, go ahead and move it to trash. Um, and then later on, I'll show you how to actually save it if you don't know how to do that. Um, okay, let me start.